Hey there, junior biologists. Welcome to Your Body, Your Problems with your host, me, Quigley the Chromosome. Today we're going to learn about the genetic disorder phenylketonuria, or PKU. <laughs> Helping me today is our friend of the show, Henry. Henry here is the 12th chromosome. See how he isn't like a normal chromosome? He has a problem that results in an autosomal recessive genetic disorder known as PKU. This is a close-up of Henry. He carries the gene PAH, which causes PKU. But what is PKU, really? Well, normally the enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase metabolizes the amino acid tyrosine. When PAH is deficient, phenylalanine builds up in the system and is converted to phenylketones. This excess of phenylalanine results in PKU. If PKU goes untreated, it can cause vomiting, irritability, eczema or rash, mousy odor to the urine, and eventually mental retardation and seizures. A common physical feature of those affected is microcephaly. <laughs> Diagnosis occurs right at birth. All that's needed is a blood test. A simple prick on the baby's heel will suffice. Now that we know what's wrong with Henry, let's find out how he controls these symptoms. The most effective way of controlling PKU is to have a set diet. Henry is not allowed to eat fish, milk, legumes, eggs, steak, anything else that is really worth eating. But, luckily enough, he can still eat apples, carrots, and Wheaties. Even luckier for Henry, he's getting help from the big man upstairs, the government. Bills are being passed mandating insurance coverage of special medical PKU foods, such as low-protein food formulas. Also, there's new research on an enzyme that can break down phenylalanine in food consumed by an affected person. It can even come in pill form. I prevent the absorption of digested phenylalanine into the bloodstream. <laughs> When it comes to genetic counseling, if both parents are carriers, there is a 25% chance their child will have PKU. They are informed about how each child is affected differently, what dietary restrictions must be made, and the dangers of not treating the child properly. Well kids, today's episode is nearly over, but we still have one more thing to do. I'm going to share with you all a story about a boy with PKU. A young boy named Tanner was invited to a birthday party. His parents, being well-educated and sensitive to the differences in life Tanner must face, <laughs> called the host of the party to find out what cake they'd be serving. After learning they were going to be serving white cake with white frosting and colored sprinkles, Tanner's mom whipped up a cupcake of the same build and brought it to the party. Tanner was served his cupcake and didn't feel left out at all. So kids, I guess Tanner was happy because he got his cake and ate it too. Well, kids, that's all for today's episode of Your Body, Your Problems. See you next week.